Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share the exponential distribution in SPS. Consider that random variable x follows exponential distribution with lambda equal to 2.5. Let's start with the x values. Instead of type 1 by 1, we can make use of Excel to generate the value. Start from 0, press enter, select the value that we type, go to fill, look for series, generate by columns, step value we can take 0 0.01, stop value, don't have to take a very big value but we can try for 4. Click on OK and we should obtain a series of numbers. Press shift control down to select, control C to copy. Back to SPS, paste value. Go to variable view, change the name to x, and we can now generate the probability distribution. Go to transform, look for compute variable, target variable, we can type the probability. For the numeric expression, we scroll down, look for PDF probability density function, look for exponential distribution up. The first question mark is the x value. Click on x, right to insert. Second question mark is the lambda 2.5. Click on OK and we should obtain the probability distribution. Go to variable view, increase the decimal point if needed. Now we could generate the cumulative distribution. Go to transform, compute variable, change target variable to cumulative. P to C. Click on OK and we should obtain the cumulative distribution. Also, go to variable view to increase the decimal point. Besides, we could also obtain the inverse or the x values by using a series of area or cumulative probabilities. Again, we can make use of Excel to generate the probability. Start from 0, press enter, select the value, go to fill, look for series. We can generate by using 0 0.01 for the step value, also by columns. Stop value must be 1 since total probability equal to 1. Click on OK. Shift Ctrl down to select, Ctrl C to copy. Back to SPS, paste the value. Go to variable view, change the name to area or cumulative probability. Go to transform, compute variable, change target variable to inverse, change C to I, remove X, and we should insert area. Click on OK and we should obtain the inverse. Again, to increase the decimal point, go to variable view and we increase accordingly. If we are asked to show the shape of the distribution, we can make use of bar chart. Go to graphs, look for legacy dialogs, click on bar, we choose simple, click on define, move x to the category asset, and we should define the bars using the probability. Choose other statistic example mean. Move probability to variable. Click on change statistic. Change to sum of values. Click on continue. If you want to insert title, click on title and click on continue. Click on OK and we should obtain the shape of the distribution as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.